assalamu alaikum welcome to my youtube channel today the topic of my discussion is the anatomy of lungs in this lecture i shall discuss the anatomy of lungs of horse ox and dog so let's move to the topic i i am first discussing the anatomy of lungs of ox lungs are actually spongy soft and highly elastic organs and are found in the form of pear they are always found in the form of pairs and occupy most of the space in the thoracic cavity lungs are pinkish white in fresh condition the right lung is larger than the left lung the right lung contains four lobes while left lung contains only two lobes in case of ox each lung contains two surfaces two borders a base and an apex so first talk about the surfaces of lungs there are two surfaces of lungs one is costal surface and other is mediastinal surface the costal surface is convex and lies against the lateral wall of thorax it presents impressions of the ribs and these impressions are known as costal impressions so we can say that costal surface of uh, lungs of ox is is uh, present laterally while mediastinal surface is less extensive and is molded on the mediastinum and its its contents mediastinum is actually an area between the lungs that contains heart large blood vessels trachea esophagus thymus and lymph nodes within it so mediastinal surface is present medially now let's talk about the borders of the lungs there are two borders in lungs one is the dorsal border and it is always long thick and rounded while ventral border is thin and presents two deep fissures and these deep fissures help to divide the lungs into variable number of lobes now come to the lobes that have been divided by fissures on the lungs one on the cranial side of lungs apical lobe or cranial lobe is present in both right and left lungs in case of ox both right and left apical lobes are further divided into two parts one part is the cranial one and the other is caudal one The apical lobe of right lung is much larger than that of left lung in case of ox. Caudally the left and right both lungs contain a diaphragmatic or caudal lobe. So in left lung of ox these only only these two lobes are present that is one is cranial or apical lobe and other is caudal or diaphragmatic lobe. While in right lung of ox two additional lobes are also present. Third third lobe which is present in uh, right lung of ox is the middle or intermediate lobe and it is present caudal to the apical lobe the fourth lobe which is present in the right lung of ox it is accessory lobe and is present ventral to the caudal lobe or just behind the middle or intermediate lobe so left lung of ox contains only cranial and caudal lobe or uh, apical or diaphragmatic lobe while right lung contains cranial or apical lobe caudal or diaphragmatic lobe middle or intermediate lobe and fourth only accessory lobe next next come to the cardiac impression cardiac impression is the impression which is formed by the heart on the medial surface of lungs between third and sixth rib the other structure is the hilus of lungs it is the area on the medial surface of lungs where the pulmonary bronchus and pulmonary and bronchial vessels and nerves enter the lungs and the aggregation of all these structures forms the root of lungs so we can say that root of the lung is passing through the hilus of the lung root of the lung is the aggregation of the structures that pass through the hilus of lung next is the cardiac notch right lung presents a large quadrilateral cardiac notch which is which extends from the ventral end of the third intercostal space to fourth intercostal space and here the pericardium and heart are in contact with the chest wall behind this notch or dorsal to this notch there is a the fissure so this cardiac notch is then area where heart is in direct contact where heart and pericardium is in direct contact with the chest wall next is the apical or tracheal bronchus in all species trachea bifurcates into two bronchi and each bronchus enters one of the lung means right bronchus enters right lung and left bronchus enters left lung but in case of ox there is an additional bronchus which enters the apical lobe of right lung and this bronchus is known as apical or tracheal bronchus so in case of ox 
there is a uh, there is only one left principal bronchus while two right principal bronchi on the right side of the lung of ox there is one principal bronchus and one is apical or tracheal bronchus while on left side of lung of ox there is only one principal bronchus now let's come to the anatomy of lung of horse left lung of horse has apical and diaphragmatic lobe same as that of ox but right lung of horse has only three lobes and these are apical diaphragmatic and accessory lobe median lobe is absent in horse in case of horse there is a notch between both cranial and caudal lobes of both lungs the dorsal surface of horse lung has many costal impressions of ribs while its medial surface is smooth so medial surface of both lungs is smooth in case of horse while dorsal surface presents costal impressions in horse dorsal border is round and thick while ventral border is sharp and thin in case of horse there are two impressions which are present on the dorsal border of both lungs these impressions are known as esophageal and aortic impressions esophageal impression allows the passage of esophagus from it while aortic impression allows the passage of aorta from it these impressions are present such that aortic impression is present dorsal to the esophageal impression or we can say that just above the hilus or dorsal to the hilus is uh, esophageal impression and then dorsal to the esophageal impression is the aortic impression so these both impressions are present above the hilus of the lungs third impression is a cavial impression which is present beneath the accessory lobe in horse and this impression is for caudal vena cava in right lung in case of horse when trachea enters the fifth level of intercostal space it forms two principal bronchi and each principal bronchus enters one of the lung two pulmonary ligaments one on each lung's caudal lobe are present which join the diaphragm to make lung b in their place so each lung on its caudal lobe contains a pulmonary ligament which allows it to uh, join with the diaphragm uh, in order to make the lungs b in their place now let's move to the anatomy of lung of dog in dog the left lung contains apical and diaphragmatic lobe and right lung contains apical diaphragmatic lobe intermediate lobe and accessory lobe so the number of lobes is same in both dog and ox only left apical lobe in dog is divided by fissure into a cranial and caudal part while in case of ox both apical lobes that is right apical lobe and left apical lobe both were divided by fissures into cranial and caudal parts while it is the it is not a case in dog in dog only left apical lobe is divided by fissure into a cranial and caudal part cardiac notch is present only in right lung of dog